Hello. Um, welcome. Oh, hi, Anne. Good, you got on. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, thank you guys for coming along tonight. So the idea is to show you what Cookie Do is all about and um, hopefully give you a bit of inspiration. I know there's at least one person on here who wants a bit of inspiration from Cookie Do and uh, just show you a general overview um, with quite a few of the features. And then if you want to learn more, Jenny, who's also on tonight, another team leader, she is going to do Cookie Do 3.0 on Thursday, which is all about adding your own recipes up to Cookie Do. So I should have introduced myself. My name is Mandy Powers. I am a team leader. I have Re Manning the chat. She's also a team leader. And as I said, Jenny's here. She's just having a look to see, um, see what I'm saying. <laughs> and then she's going to do her own thing on, on um, Thursday. All right. So um, for, actually, before we start, can you pop in the chat box down the bottom uh, what um, Thermomix you actually have on your bench at the moment, please? Um, that would be good to know. I think we have a few TM6s on here, um, but anyone? Thank you, TM6. Anyone else? TM5, TM6, thanks, Jenny. <laughs> Glad you got one of those. <laughs> I've got a TM6 too. Well, you've asked. <laughs> I have asked, I have asked. Yeah, cool. Um, TM6, cool. All right, we've got a few TM6s. All right, I'm going to share my screen and we're just going to get started. All right, so this is the front page of Cookie Do. And if you don't have um, a subscription to Cookie Do, what you can do is this is my login. So I'm logged in here, hopefully, with any luck. Yes. Um, but you can, if you just Google Cookie Do, you can actually sign up for a 30 day free trial. And that is the best way to start because it gives you an extra 30 days. Then if you, um, if you decide to purchase a TM6 or trade up to a TM6, then you get an extra six months of Cookie Do membership um, at that point. Um, my daughter always calls me when I'm um, doing a Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the front page of Cookie Do, and I'm just going to scroll down because there's a few things on here you might want to just be aware of. We can start searching in here, which we'll come back to. It tells us the latest recipes that have um, arrived on Cookie Do. So every month we get um, new collections arriving, and this is one of the latest ones that looks amazing. Um, a little bit partial to a bit of ice cream. That looks fantastic. Created recipes is a little bit, bit about um, Cookie Do 3.0 here, but if you really want to know how to do it, you need to join Jenny on um, Thursday and we will share the link, Jenny, please, a bit later on in the chat. Uh, most cooked, it shows now. We often have cocktails here. It was particularly marked during lockdown, but we have cocktails back on board there. A little bit about our blade cover peeler. This is a current host reward for anybody um, interested in showing off the Thermomix to any of their friends, um, that's that's until the end of the month. Um, some stuff on Valentine's Day, so you can click in there and see what recipes um, people are suggesting for Valentine's Day. Uh, tomorrow is uh, National so Pizza Day. And um, yeah. oh, so, yeah, so want, who, whoever's not on actually, mute, could you please yeah. mute yourself? Thank you. Uh, yeah, so National Pizza Day tomorrow, and there is something actually happening um, on Thermix in Australia um, page. We have the, in Victoria, we have the, um, I think he's the world pizza champion maker or whatever, and he's doing something tomorrow. So that's a bit exciting. That's all um, matched up with our Ovana pizza oven, which is a new thing arriving in the mix shop tomorrow as well. All right, some more inspiration. Um, that seared steak and rocket salad is literally five minutes, probably 10, but five, really very, very quick. Um, and a few more of the latest collections and things on Cookie Do. So it's worth scrolling down. You know, there's always stuff to click into and find out more about. Before we leave this page, um, if you do have an account with Cookie Do and it comes to resubscribing, you're, you, come into, you have to do this on the website. You cannot resubscribe on an app or on the screen of your Thermomix, you need to come to the website. So you just go into your account and it will tell you how long it's, when your membership's gonna expire. Mine's the 1st of January next year, um, but that's where you resubscribe. Okay, 
let's get back to the front page here. So I understand from talking to the lovely Irene that we have someone on here who wants to look at low carb things. So I'm going to put low carb in just to show you how you can start searching. So put low carb in here. And what we can do, as well as looking by recipes, we can have a look at collections. So we do have a few low carb collections in here. I don't think that one is. There's actually another one that goes with this. But this one is a whole um, book of low carb recipes, 49 recipes, um, you know, ranging from breakfast right through to dinners. The chicken kebs are amazing. Oh, so are those. Um, so there's lots of incredible um, recipes in here. You can go into each recipe and let's click on this one. And you can have a look. It tells you a little bit more about it, the time, um, the, the portion numbers. And um, you can have a bit of a read of the recipe, tags, you know, if it's gluten free or whatever. Um, it gives you the nutritional content here too. So we've got the protein, the carbs, the fats, um, the fiber, um, and gives us tips and tricks here. So all these recipes you can adapt to your own, um, you know, taste. Uh, this has, this uses cabbage noodles, which I think is a great idea. And that's obviously what makes it low carb as well. Um, but you can, you know, play around with that if you want to, too. These are all um, guidelines. If you like the look of that, and I highly recommend that one, actually, it's really delicious. You can then go, right, I want to add, I want to cook that this week. I'm going to add it to my week. I'm going to pop it in for Friday night. All right. And I can add it to my shopping list and we'll come back to that. I'll show you where all that is a little bit later on. If I want to remember it, too, and I want to create a low carb collection so that I can pull all those sort of recipes together. I can add it to a collection. I actually think I've got a low carb correct collection in here. Uh, oh, maybe I don't. Yes, I do. Low carb, healthy fats. Add it to that. All right. So then what I would go back to is have a look through these other recipes here and just see what else there is there. Tex Mex chicken soup's really good. Um, and add those. The zucchini lasagna is too. Amazing. So I'm sure we've all got our favourites, but those are some of mine that are in this particular collection. All right. So that's, you can have a look by collections. You can search by a topic like that. All right. Now, um, these are all the collections rather um, that, that are available in Australia, the United States, and the United Kingdom. I choose those three countries because I know all the recipes are going to be in English, but different people do things different ways. And I will just take all those out and show you how to use the filters so that you can find recipes. All right, okay. So without the filters on, and you can see we're getting um, recipes from all over the world. Um, that obviously is some sort of Valentine thing in Italian, I think. Uh, it is, because it's a bimbi. Um, we have 50, oh, 5,000, no, how, why have we got, oh, that's because I'm in collections. That's collections, let's go recipes. Uh, English. Okay, 78,437 results. So they, some of them will be in, obviously in other languages. You can use Google Translate and you might go, well, that's fine, but how's that gonna see that on my Thermomix screen? Um, you can use your phone with Google Translate in, Translate in front of the screen and that will translate everything as you're going through the steps. By the way, sorry, I should have said, if you've got any questions, pop them in the chat. So Ree will answer them along the way. All right. but um, I don't like looking at it that way. So I'm going to add some filters in and get back to um, the English recipes. So the first thing I do is scroll down to the bottom here. I can choose a language here. So if you speak a language other than English, you can pick any of these. Um, I don't always just pick the language, but I do choose my countries and I'm going to put in Australia, ones I had in the beginning, the uh, United Kingdom and the United States. All right, so I've got 8,513 recipes. That's probably a very familiar recipe to a lot of people who have a um, Thermomix, uh, vegetable stock paste. Then we can go in and we can look at other filters. So we can have a look in here and we can go, we can look for starters, soups, pasta and rice dishes, you know, main dishes, different types, side dishes, uh, you know, a whole lot of different things. So let's go with um, main dishes, vegetarian, just for something different. All right, then I can keep coming down here. And if I've got an ingredient I want to use in my, you know, use up it that's in my fridge and it's gonna to go to waste, then I can pop it in here, I can add it in. All right, um, if I want to add a tag, I might go 
gluten free. Uh, it could be dairy free. Just remembering that if you um, normally do choose to eat gluten free, you're going to exclude, it's going to take all the pasta dishes out of this. But um, obviously, you, there are various ways you can get around that if you do know how to cook gluten free, gluten free pasta or zoodles or that sort of thing. Difficulty, don't worry too much about that. Preparation time, uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'd like to know the total time. So I'm trying to get a meal on the table in 30 minutes. Okay, that's showing me 31 results. I'll, um, I'll have four portions. Ratings, um, I have to confess, I've never rated a recipe. So I don't worry too much about that. I know I probably should rate them. <laughs> and I don't know, Rhi and Jenny, if you rate them or Irene, um, but I don't worry too much about that. I certainly that, do. <laughs> you do? Okay. All right, Jenny, I need to start. Okay. 23 recipes have come up with those um, filters. All right. So I've got my main dishes, vegetarian and gluten-free. They're going to be on the table in 30 minutes. They're going to serve four people. So I can have a look through down through here and I might go, I know that dal's really delicious. So the same thing, instead of clicking into the recipe, I can just use these three dots and they will do exactly the same. So I can add it to a collection. I can add it to my week. I'll pop it in my week. Let's have that on Thursday. And I can add to my shopping list. Okay, so what I would do, I've, you know, with all those filters in place, I would go through and I would make a list um, or add them to a collection if they're things that I want to remember. Is everyone with me okay so far? Hopefully, post in the in the chat box if you um, if you're not. All right. So um, then I would go back and I would go. Okay, I'm going to look at something different. So I'll come back into my filters here and maybe I'm going to look at um, soups. Probably not the best thing for summer, but you know. Uh, and I can, again, I can add these. So I might have um, zucchini I need to um, use up in the fridge. I'll pop that in there. Nine results. And we will get duplicates because we're looking at recipes in English from other countries as well. All right. So just basically pop in the filters, work out what you like, add it to a collection, add it to your week, add it to your shopping list. Um, and you just work your way through cookie do just browsing it's the sort of thing I do in an evening if my husband's watching something I don't want to watch on the television um, I do my own little browsing on the um, on my phone and cookie do all right so that's that's that basically um, I can also just put in here so say if I do have zucchini to look up um, to use up zucchini oh zucchini no, I've forgotten how to spell zucchini. Zucchini. Um, I can pop that in there and I've got 276 results there. All right, so there's all sorts of different ways you can use it up. That zucchini slice is seriously good too. And that's gluten-free. All right, so once you've done all that and you've sorted out collections and, um, you know, and you, you've got things in your week, you need to find them. So if we come back, we come into my recipes. Um, we have bookmarks and I suggest you don't have too many bookmarks. I've got nine only because this one's in, on my radar to, to try it uh, and that one. But, you know, I have the things that I use all the time. So the cooked mayonnaise, the quick porridge we have every week, one day for breakfast, um, slow cooking my chickpeas, veggie stock, ghee. They are staples that I use a lot. So I've got them there. They're very easy to find. Um, I can go into creative recipes, but this is going to be Jani's little area on, um, on Thursday night. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, I can also go into creative recipes here. The difference between these two, so this is created collections. So the, the previous bits here, here were created recipes that you can create or you can upload um, and pop in there. And these are collections that I've created. So I've got 30 minute meals um, and I've got a few ideas in here. So if I know I've got to be quick, um, I've got some great options in here and um, they are all really good. You can, but all these collections, when, when you start off with cookie dough from scratch, there are no collections. It's totally up to you to make what you want to see. So let's go down here and find my low carb one. There it is, okay. So um, you can see there's a whole lot of low carb 
options in here and keto. Um, and I've just pulled them out from all over Cookie Do. A lot of these are actually from America. I think this is an American one. Yeah, so just have a look at this. When it's an American recipe, it comes up with ounces as the um, measurements. Um, but um, if you have a TM6 or a TM5 with a cookie, you can cook these on the screen. It will automatically change the units to um, ounces. All right, so basically I've just got a whole lot of um, delicious looking things in there. But as I said, you just make your own collections. So um, I've, yeah, I've just got cocktails, curries, and um, you can't actually filter by calories, but I've just gone into recipes and um, done that myself. So um, you can just, you know, whatever you want to do, you do. Okay, we'll come to my week. So um, in my week, um, I've put the taka dal in. I put the braised cabbage in here. I've got a couple of things um, I want to try in here. Someone recommended this the other day. I thought, oh, okay, that's a nice weekend breakfast. I'll give that one a go. Uh, so they're all in, in there on the day that I want to make them. So when I come to the screen of my TM6, I can go into my week. I can click on the day that I'm on and the recipe is right there, ready to go. Um, and uh, yeah, so... I've also added to my shopping list and we'll just go into the shopping list and we'll show the ingredients. Okay, so I've got five recipes in there and it gives me a list and I can obviously click off the things I've already got at home in my pantry. So I don't need to buy hot water. I've got plenty of lemons. I don't need that water. Um, white wine, I can open a bottle of that. I'm sure I can manage to drink a little bit whilst I'm cooking. Um, I've got the self-raising flour. Uh, and so on. So you basically go down here and you click off, I've got unsalted butter because we did an easy essentials class last week and I made the butter. Um, as I said, I've got plenty of lemons, don't need those and so on. You know, you, we, most of us have the um, olive oil. I've got the ghee, as I said, that's a staple. And um, when you've had a firm mix for a while, you certainly have plenty of um, herbs and spices in the cupboard so you can get rid of all of those. So you come down here, um, look at all those eggs. I would just put eggs in there and I would buy a dozen. Okay. And then if I want something else, I can add it in here. So it is cherry season. So pop some of those in and the raspberries are my favorite. So some of those. All right. So I've got my shopping list there. And what I can do from there, I can either share it. So I can just share it. Um, I can print it out if I want. I can share it. Um, we had our son living with us last year for a while, oh, year before last, whenever it was, beginning of COVID for six months. And I used to share this with him in Messenger and he'd pop off to the shops for me. So that was um, that was really easy. But you can also order your ingredients. Um, and this is through Woolworths Online. You obviously need to have an account with them. And it pops in here, it populates it for you. If you don't like that brand of yogurt, you can swap it. So um, it's a pretty simple thing to do. And then you just add it to your Woolworths cart. So that is how that works. Um, just get out of there. All right. Uh, and I'm just gonna stop sharing because what I just wanna show you too, hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, we have the Cookie Do app on our on your phone as well. That's really I always find it really hard to show this, but if you can see that little Thermomix thing there, that's the Cookie Do app on your phone. And what I love about that is it's slightly different because all your it's just waking up. I think my Wi-Fi. So there it is. It's the same as we saw on the computer, but all your um, functions are down the bottom, and the far right hand one here is your shopping list. So everything I've just put in the shopping list on Cookie Do there is automatically in here. So I don't actually order online, but I take my phone with my populated shopping list in it to shop and just click the things off as I've got them, as I put them in my basket. Okay. So that's pretty much, um, you know, an overview of Cookie Do. Um, who, who, um, 
sorry and any any other questions anything that anybody wants to we'll change the view so we can see everybody anybody anything they want to ask all very quiet i know there's a few consultants on but um anything you think i've missed um oh someone arriving right now um anyone Irene, Ray. Um, um, no, if you can just go back to the filters, I just want to show. If you just um, do that yep. low carb thing again within within the filter. Um, okay. Just so Simeon can. So here. So if we look at it there. Yep. With Mandy's current filters, that's giving us one two nine two Sorry. results. Yeah, um, that's using the word low carb in the recipe. So if you remove the word low carb from that screen, so if you just um, jump back out, Andy. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I'm gonna uh, do that. Just hit search, great. And then go back into filters and you use low carb in the tag. It's giving you different results. So it's, I don't think that worked. Um, mm, I don't, no, I don't I think, think it did either. I don't think you selected it when you when you chose oh, it. Oh, okay. Yes, no, you're right. I didn't. Okay. Yep. Thank you. So I would still try both ways because a tag may be missing from a recipe, um, but at least, you know, you're getting, um, like try both methods because sometimes it'll work better with one or the other just to give you more results. The other thing I would add is exactly what Mandy said before. I feel like you're limiting yourself when you're looking at these recipes because there are so many options in terms of going to low carb. Things like the pasta is a really good example. So some delicious pasta recipes on there and you can substitute things and use eggplant, use zucchini, use cabbage, um, you know, to replace what would otherwise be a, a high carb component and, and zoodles and zoodles are fantastic. Yeah. So that's a really good one um, that I like to use. Um, and, and the same thing with sugars. So you can swap them out for your ethyrol or whatever it is you're using as a substitute or no sugar or honey or whatever it is that you're using to substitute those out. Um, and in terms of the meal prep, just to, again, to answer Simeon's question, yeah. I think it's a really good way to just, build up um, what you plan to cook, whether you're going a week or a week ahead, depending obviously on your budget um, and your freezer space um, to then basically fill up and buy what you need. So you're not wasting money on ingredients that you're not going to use. But also if you have bought that bag of carrots and they've been sitting in the fridge for a while um, to use that filter function with the specific ingredient, um, like Mandy did before with the zucchini to try and um, use up the ingredients that you have got in your pantry and that you have got in your fridge. So we're reducing waste um, as well as, you know, you know, trying to um, keep the money in your pocket rather than, you know, throwing it in the bin. Um, Absolutely. Hopefully that answers some of those questions and again the gluten-free um the gluten-free filter in the tags is a really good one but again I, I like to I like to look at all recipes and and really try and educate my customers in ways to make them gluten-free by using the right ingredients you know substituting for the right flours um so that you're not missing out because I feel like there's so many beautiful recipes on there um that you know you're kind of limiting yourself, um, and you can simply just swap out and substitute, um, you know, to with them um, with the right flour to make it gluten free. Fantastic, thanks, Irene. Anybody else like to add anything? I just thought maybe you just quickly show us how to rate a recipe. So oh, okay, uh, so I can it, learn how to do it. <laughs> it feeds you, and uh, everyone else can have a look too. So all right, okay. Not for the well, pizza dough or the veggie stock paste, just what what we have here. No, I'm going to find. Um, I've got one. I'm, I'm more than happy to rate. Rate <laughs> in here. This one. Oh, okay, that's a good one. So basically, you you. You go back to the where you can see the stars, and when you hover with your, what are you doing? Well, I don't know. I was sure you said you said go back. That's why. No, no, go back into the into the recipe. So no, no, scroll to the top there where you, until you can see the star. Oh, hang on, where you are, Mandy, on the left with the stars. Okay. The oh, stars. there. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, so you can see the mouse has changed now. So if you click on that. Yes, okay, gotcha. All right, so now, uh, slow, 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 slow. Oh. Go all the way to the front. So if one star, they would say very, no, no, it's actually, that's not reflecting. Okay, <laughs> let me submit this one and we'll do another. You've submitted already. So a bit too fast. Yes. So, so just that um, everyone can see what's yeah. actually the difference between the different stars. So start with the first one. Oh, uh, very bad. Uh, yeah, so it's very bad. And go to the next. Does it say anything? I can't see it on no, your screen. No, it's not saying anything. It just says yeah. one star is very bad and five stars is very good. Yeah, so it usually it gives you a suggestion where, where you oh, can okay. go, gradually go uh, a little bit higher. And yeah. um, and that's basically oh, another one. You rate them similar to your Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Let me just... um. No, it's not doing it for me, Jenny. Sorry. Not doing it for you, but yeah, no. sorry. that's usually how it works. And yeah. uh, look, these are customer ratings. So they're not ratings done by Thermomix. Um, so, and you can always see the amount of ratings a certain recipe has already. So it gives a relatively good reflection on it. Yes. Um, I, I don't filter by, by star ratings personally, oh. because I often think, um, you know, it, it's not necessarily the taste that has people put off for that recipe. Sometimes it is a method um, that they're not happy with. And uh, thanks to Cookie Do 3.0, we can change that. We can change the method. We can change the ingredients and we can save it. And more on that on uh, Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Do you have a link for that, Jenny? You can pop in the chat. Yes, I'm, I've got a link and I'm just grabbing it and pulling, popping it into the chat perfect back. thank you oh yes I put tomorrow nights as well in so tomorrow night we have yes. the comparison between the three models as well yeah fantastic wonderful so anybody got any questions feel free to come off and yeah Simeon. Yeah. yeah i just have a quick one as far as like looking at other people's collections is that something you can do like you can i can say access your saved recipes if you share the link or something like that um you can share um yes you can share it's easier to share on the phone from the phone uh yeah but you absolutely can share the recipes you can't necessarily share a whole collection but you can share recipes yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you can't do a whole list of recipes. You can only do no, one. but but it, but if you just use those filters, you'll come to the same, um, you know, the, the same place as, as I did with to make mine. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. All right. Anything else from anybody? Um, can I? Um, is it tomorrow night that you're going to compare the three models of the? Thermomix. Yes, it is. Um, that's uh, it's Michelle Moss is going to do that. We've got three team leaders taking in turns um, to present this week, and um, yeah. with back with our backup, like Ree's backing me up today, and there's someone else backing the others up. So yeah, um, yeah absolutely tomorrow night. So um, I think I sent that in an email to you. So yeah, I um, think I didn't read very far though. Okay, you're not the lazy. only one. <laughs> no, a bit lazy. I thought. So I'd just go to back this. to the email, and you'll find yeah. the link in there. No, I will. Right. Yeah. No, I Wonderful. thought. I I think I thought that's what I was coming to, but you know, I didn't read it properly. So. That's all right. That's yes. fine. Well, hopefully you've learned something anyway. Yes. No, no. That it's it makes everything so easy, doesn't it? It does. It yeah. does. Yeah, yeah. Very easy. Yeah. I didn't yeah. don't need to have HelloFresh anymore. No, you don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye. Yeah. Lovely. Thanks, Anne. Thank okay. you. Bye. See you. Bye. Anybody else got any questions? No. Okie doke. Well, thank you guys for um, 